and we're back for another recording session and I'll probably split that also in a few episodes so bear with me we did excellent last time I saw you guys we took Norway Woohoo! again we are over our relationships because we can and now the next thing on my mind was can I take Aragon away from Castile? And quick answer to that is no. Because they're too big. At least their development is way more than we can get. That 100 points when you finish a war, if you're massacring everything, it's not gonna be enough. We, we need around, I think... 180 points for Aragon and 108 for Naples so we need another idea so since I don't have another idea and they don't have an illegal air and we don't have exploration also because that could have uh, given us something else to do somewhere I believe in a situation like this, all we can do is actually go to war against them, against Castile, Aragon, and Naples. I do believe Austria will help out, and if I'm not mistaken, if we are selecting Castile as our rival, we have a five-year truce. Yeah, I don't think we have anything else to do. It's either Castile or Austria at this point. And if I'm fighting Austria, I'm fighting also Hungary, which is kind of big right now. So I'm thinking it would be easier to work with Castile. Plus we have all these missions. From taking Gibraltar to increasing our reach taking these islands and becoming a Mediterranean authority by taking Malta and so on and so on and while we're gonna be working towards that we will get our exploration and we will be integrating Norway and I think we're gonna have another war so we can take maybe all of Sweden why not yeah, let's see how it goes. First thing is first we need to improve with Norway and continue improving with France. And I think I... You know what I'm curious about? I'm curious if I am in a royal marriage now. And I'm adding them as a rival. So the alliance goes bye-bye. But the marriage... Hmm... You see, they only have a uh, marriage with Portugal. So... Yeah, I wanted the throne. <laughs> and I don't think it's impossible since we are, have uh, three stability. We are quite decent in prestige. Of course, our diplomatic... Uh, relations... They, they don't look that good, but still. So, yeah, let's take the easy way out. It is what it is. We lost an ally. But uh, we will survive. I'm pretty sure of that. Let's get our armies. So, minus five for a third marriage. That's kind of... Uh, that's hurting us. Would you be interested in breaking your alliance with Castile? That's a pretty solid no. Well, let's get the marriage. For now, I was actually... I wanted to get rid of them get rid of Portugal but 
think I'm gonna keep him around. Gonna decline the marriage for now. Let's start improving with Norway. Wow, we don't do that good economy wise. So, for that reason, I'm tempted to sell some um, forts. Bye bye, fort. This one is on the hills. This one is in a march. Meh. We do have a river here. Who's gonna attack us? Besides Denmark? Nobody. So, should we take this one also? Yeah, we can take it out. What can I say? I should have taken exploration. At this point, we would have had some nice provinces to help us. Hmm. Yeah, we're definitely gonna take at least uh, level one. How much money again? Six. Yeah, we'll take the level one for now. We are focusing on Diplo. How many? How many? We're still at half. Well, that's a long way to go. Can we build anything of interest? Something in Cambridge. Maybe something in Kent and Essex. And I believe that's... That's all it was. Okay. Wow, they were fast. So now everybody hates everybody. Beautiful. All right, I forgot about uh, Britney Spears here. Oh, we can go to war in three years. So, yes. And here, we're gonna be going in five, 509 and 507. Perfect. Reducing war exhaustion or diplomatic technology. And I think I will wait for Diplotech. Perfect. Mm, man, I really like Henry Frederick Buckingham. Bucky Bucky. So you start drilling, Bucky. Let's work on the Navy. Carax, stay here. What else? Cogs, stay here. <laughs> Look, we stole a galley. Okay. Now let's see, where are we gonna protect our trade? Well, blue-black, so it seems. Take the mighty emerald with you. And soon we're gonna be moving all of our... Well, the rest of our army. Norwegian Liberty Desire 55, French Liberty Desire 67, it's going better than I would have ever hoped, especially having, uh, well, quite a big nation of France. Okay, we have a free diplomat, and I'm thinking... Let's continue improving. Maybe, just maybe, we can... Uh, oh, wow. 44.9. That's so close. So close to creating some troubles in uh, the Spanish paradise. Okay, you guys are ready. And away you go. Who has a bigger navy than us? I wonder. Now, army-wise, we are in the first five countries. Well, considering the poor economy, we're, we're in a good place. Six versus four Castile, another four from Portugal. Yeah. Naples doesn't have anything. Aragon, do you have 
no they don't have any heavies so we'd need at least at least two more heavies and theoretically we can afford them Well, it seems we need to sell some boats. Welcome to the show, sell some boats. And maybe a galley, but no, I think I'm gonna go for the boats. Okay, let's see who wants to buy a boat. A boot. Who would want a boot? Ooh, Genoa is available. 20 thieves. Nothing. And 20. Yes, we're gonna give them to the Pope. They're closer to Naples, maybe... I don't know. <laughs> maybe nothing. 48 out of 48, so to be honest, I should have uh, sold more. Maybe it takes a lot of time to build this, uh, carrots. A lot, I tell you. Okay. So it seems we would need to sell two more boats. And I think I'm gonna get rid of the galley. And again, go and sell them near Italy. I want to drop by my friend Aragon and uh, improve relations. Scheiße. Back to 23% liberty desire. Yeah, I uh, don't know if um, if we can split them by force. I mean, diplomatically, we can definitely split them by force and it's gonna cost us. Well, oh I know, since we hate Castile now, I'm gonna embargo them, in just a little bit. Ooh, what is this? We can get a depot pack, a number, a uh, yank, 8 it is. So far so good. How about we give some subsidi subsidies to Morocco? They should work, I guess. Let's see if it works. They are fighting Castile and bar subsidizing Morocco. Who should we embargo extra? Oh, the Ottomans. Totally forgot you about, about you guys. Yeah. Let's embargo. And I would say the next one would be Castile, right? So, military power versus inflation. We'll use caution. As always. So we cannot embargo them because we have a truce until, as I was saying earlier, Three more years from now, and here, how much time do we need? May, one more year. We're going to war, boys. I guess we can start building our network in uh, Brittany. And what's the situation? French Liberty Desire at 52, ladies and gentlemen. I think... I think we've done it. I think we made it. We are the owners of a huge French nation that almost loves us. And we just arranged a marriage with Norway. And now they love us too. 
Yes, we can continue improving with them, though I'm gonna stop by our friends, the French. I'm gonna keep it 100. Whoa, whoa, oh. For a second there, I thought they won. A pretty decisive battle. Still, they're pouring units. That's always great to see. I hope they uh, defeat all their, all their manpower. So once we attack, they have nothing! Yeah, I don't understand why they are so faithful to Castile. I mean, what is this? This is the Mid Middle Ages, right? Who heard about loyalty in the Middle Ages? Hmm? I'm asking you. Alright. We were about to make a sale. A boat sale. Okay. Who wants to buy a boat? Um, yeah, let's try the Genoa. Just ten, you thieves! Maybe Savoy? Come on, help a brother out! Jesus. Yeah, well, it seems that we have a winner. No, a winner. No, yes. Well, just ten buckets, but... We'll get more boats pretty soon. So, October, yeah, let's, uh... Let's step in uh, armor. See how things are going there. Or should we prepare to drop on Florence overnight? No, I think we'll wait. Ooh, almost there. Three months and uh, we're going to war. Three months, right? May. Well, not three. Mm. Let's try at least to prepare our navy also. They're gonna be at, what, 55% I believe. Even less. Doesn't matter though. It does not matter. Uh, Bible, the Bible was translated. Either we burn the Bible and everybody loves us, or we keep the Bible and everybody hates us. Uh, burn the Bible. Of course. Oh, they're transferring power. You can forget about that. I hope it doesn't add up to our truce. So what we have here, prospering times. Gain 25 admin power and one base tax in Labour. Gain 25 military power and one basement power in Labour or production in Labour. Where is it, by the way? What? Uh. That's a bit better. So, uh, what is the situation here? Level 10, grapes, no estate, grapes are decent, so, manpower, no, 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 no manpower, sorry, no manpower. So what do we get from this province? Basically nothing, I wonder why. Oh, they have um, a high autonomy. Uh, yeah, let's get some more tax. Why not? And Mr. Boskawen or something like that. What do we get from you? Either 50 admin power and foreign spy detection plus spy network construction, both 15% or we get 50 prestige. Nice. And again, foreign spy detection or network construction. But um, we'll take the admin. Because I'm a sucker for admin. And I wonder... Oh, we still have to wait just a little bit. And that's it. So my friend, how about we go to war? What does this mean? Excommunicated ruler. We get 50 aggressive expansion, 125 prestige and 100% to... Uh, Cost for conquering, core revocation, core return, liberation of vassal of co or countries, monetary reparation, enforced vassalage, and concession of defeat. 
Well, that being said, I think I'm gonna take... Yeah, I'll take non... non... T? Non... T? No T? So, yeah. Split the army. Go... Yeah, you can go here. 